Hello guys and gals and welcome back to more Final Fantasy VIII. In the last episode we did... Uh, why is my camera acting all weird? There we go. Anyways, um, in the last episode we did the basically the last bit of storyline that we can do before we can do all the optional quests, which is basically what these next few series episodes are going to be. But this one is not going to be that. This is going to be getting all of the ultimate weapons for everybody. Um, now, there are certain things you need for this quest, and this, which is why I'm going to write them down. Kinda. Okay. So, a few things you need. First, you need uh, magic or ammo refine, which is here, for Squall's ultimate weapon. That's pretty much it when it comes to abilities. The rest are just items you need to get. I might as well heal, because. Screw it. I need to buy more tents, like legit. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually look what we need for them. Where is it? First. Okay, for Squall we need an Adamantine, which we have, four Dragon Fangs, which we don't have, and twelve Pulse Ammo, which we don't have. For uh, Renoa, if we need a Windmill, two of them, which I think we have, a Regan Ring, a Force Armlet, and an Energy Crystal. Two Energy Crystals. Which, I'll show you where you get Energy Crystals, because those are probably the most annoying ones. Okay, for him we need Dino Bone, Moonstone, Star Fragment, and Screws. We can get, I think we have enough Screws. <clears throat> we don't have Star Fragments, but they're from those, uh, Toram. Is that right? No. 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 Star Fragments are from Iron Giants, I believe. I'm gonna look it up so you guys don't get lost. If you can hear my book, I I do apologize, but I figure this is better than going into the internet. Kind of. Because the internet's actually kind of nice. Okay, so what drops? Okay, Iron Giants drop Star Fragments. Yes, they do. Okay, so Star Fragments are required for his selfies. And I think, let me look. Because March, I think, no, August is uh, everyone else's except for Clouds. Okay, so for Zell's, you need Adamantine, which I can get one. Uh, Dragon Skin and a Fury Fragment. I don't know if we have dragon skins or fury fragments. I'm not sure, but the um, fury fragments, fragments, are dropped from dragons of like dragon types, and you can get you can find those in just certain areas. Um, that's not it. Okay, save the queen. You need Malboro tentacles, which we got. I made sure to get those. Sharp spikes. I'm pretty sure we have energy crystals. We can get. So in total, we need. Seven energy crystals, actually eight, because six for Crystal and Renoa, and then twelve pulse ammo, which is from uh, for squalls. So we need eight of those, which is it's not that hard. I'm gonna get those first because those are the hardest to get, for sure. So I'll actually see you guys where we actually um, get those. Okay, <clears throat> I'm back in Astar. Um, basically, from the from the middle of the city, you want to go. In from like the air station, want to go in, down, and just keep going until you have have the option to go up, and you're here. Okay, so this this guy, you might think he's a regular SL soldier, but he's not. He's actually a uh, forced encounter. Oh, I got healed. Okay, so um, make sure you're ready. Make sure you have. He's actually a pretty not a tough fight, but he's kind of annoying. <laughs> okay. So it basically spawns an account, and the reason I switched out Quiz is because I need my highest level people for this battle. Um, mainly because he can drop energy crystals is what we want, and moonstones, which is for Urban's, Urban's weapon, I don't know if you remember. We only need one moonstone, so it isn't that bad. Um, <clears throat> but don't take him lightly, considering the fact that, you know, he's pretty dangerous. But first we're going to mug the moonstone, but obviously we couldn't. He has a lot of HP, and Max level has 159,000, probably the biggest of any... <clears throat> random encounter in the game, I think. Maybe Ruby Dragons have more. But I'm pretty sure this guy has one of the highest. Because he starts out at 30,000, so it's like, whoa. He has a lot for being pretty low leveled. So don't take this guy serious. Like, don't take the... Don't... don't I'm trying to think. Don't take this guy lightly. Wow, now you're going to inherit the really... Oh my god. Um, actually, it's probably a good thing to cast Pain on him. I think you could do that. I'm not sure. Okay, one moonstone. Nice. That's what we wanted. So basically, now what we're gonna do is pretty much um, to get the easy win on him. And he, okay, he got blinded and poisoned. I think. Yep. Okay. The, the thing you want to do is you want to cast Aura on uh, Quistus. I th hope, hopefully, Quistus is okay. Treatment Zell because we need that. 
It's the one reason I kept that on. <clears throat> Actually, I didn't even do that on purpose, I'm not even gonna lie. Who has Aura? So I need that. No, not Ultima. Is it Zelda has Aura? Just not. It's actually Quistus. Oh my god, Death, are you serious? Not on Quistus, not on... Okay, on Squad, it's fine. He doesn't need the experience anyways. <laughs> actually, no, I'll, I'll, I'll life him, because it's pretty much just experience of the drain if I'm not going to do anything. So as when you revive, or when you use Aura, obviously it gets limit breaks, and Quistus has the best limit break when finding one big random encounter, which because she has the degenerator ability, which is nice for these kind of things. Okay, so pretty much when she gets her turn, um, use the generator, and it should, I believe this insta kills it, if it doesn't, then I'm mistaken, but this is her generator limit break. I plan on showing them all eventually, but yep, see, it gets caught and it goes boom, so yeah. Awesome. And he gives you a lot of experience too, like at least a level up per fight, so. He's actually nice grinding if you really want to use that, see look at that, it's crazy. Everyone leveled up, didn't get a drop because, you know, he obviously... <gasps> Yay! He gave us 18 AP, which is actually really awesome because Diablo actually learned HP plus 80%. And I'm actually gonna put that on, and look at that. Almost 9,000. If I freaking put HP plus 40, it'll actually give her up to <laughs> max. But I want magic, so. Yeah, she actually needs a lot of magic, so. Yeah, that, that's good for now. Uh, he'll squall a little bit. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch out Quistus's junction so she gets low HP. So she can instantly go into uh, to a limit break. So that that's a quick way if you want to lower your enemy, your lower your people's level. Um, X potion, X potion. Yeah. Okay. So now that Diablos has learned HP plus, we're gonna have to counter half, which that should be learned pretty fast. So basically, you're probably thinking he's gone. Actually, if you go off screen and come back, he'll actually be there again. But the good thing is you don't have to mug him this time. I'm pretty sure that's all you need is one. I'm not... Because that's the only thing you really need. What does the Moonstone even do? I don't even remember. <sighs> Holy Moonstone with monsters living inside. I think that increases the uh, compatibility with GF with Alexander. I actually didn't really go over these yet, did I? Um, basically, the, these items, like, you know, like fish fins, it increases, like, the... the compatibility with it, like, you know, how it goes to like a thousand, it increases it with a certain character or a certain GF by a certain number. Let's see, can she learn anything new? Bad, bad, no, I'm sure you know it's bad breath. Uh, no, nothing new. Okay, so let's see what, oops, I didn't mean to do that at all. Okay. Uh, yeah, just one moonstone. Nice. And actually, um, once I get all these energy crystals, which is eight of them, which should take a little bit, just letting you know that I'll be cutting out a lot of the battles, or cutting out all of them, rather. But I'm just going to leave this one in because I want to um, show you guys that he drops energy crystals, like, for sure. Okay, so, and a quick way to beat him, obviously. Pretty much just go into Quistus and use her limit break. Pretty simple. And if you really want to make her, uh, um... Like, if you really want to make it easy on yourself, or to make give a surefire chance of winning, just equip, equip Quistus with uh, the, uh, <clears throat> like, status junction against death. So you can't get killed by him instantly, which he does have death, which sucks, but... Yep, that's pretty much it. Easy, easy experience, actually. If you want to keep doing this for good experience, you actually can do that. Look at that. He was a higher level one, so this one gave you a lot of it, EXP. And two energy crystals, so yeah. I'll see you guys after I have eight of them, okay? New enemy. I don't know if you can encounter these here. Well, I actually wasn't expecting this. Okay, so this thing is called a behemoth. Um, he is pretty tough, I would say, like for sure. Um, he does a thing called a counter attack. This thing is actually really rare to find here, so I'm actually glad I found him. Um, he has these things called barriers, which you can steal from him. Ooh, pain on your equipment. Nice. Now, he actually does a lot of damage, but since he's blinded, I pretty much have no troubles. Okay, so he has a thing called Barriers, which you can steal from him, which basically gives Quistus the, uh, the what, is, what is it called? The Mighty Guard Limit Break, which is awesome, because, um, I wasn't expecting to get this until much later in the game. 
I don't think he really has anything special from him. Uh, he also drops Giant's Rings occasionally and Energy Crystals. Actually, that's kind of nice. I want to see if I can get one of those. Because Giant's Ring gives you the like, HP plus 80%. Um, the uh, ability that GFs give. And, um, and barriers you can get from him dropping, so might as well use it. God, this breaks the game. Like Degenerator, or not Degenerator does. Because you get it so early, and it's awesome. Look at that, look at all that EXP. And, oh, oh no, never mind. HP plus 40, but still, that's a really nice drop. And we already learned accounts are half, so, and we learned med data, which is awesome. Okay, so, now you're probably, probably why I'm so excited for med data. Well, if you have this, you can do med level up, which basically is what we need, the last thing we need for getting the next summon, which is what we need the Malboro tentacles for, other than the, the, the uh, final weapons. And now you can actually get the encounter none thing, which is awesome, because that's my, that was my next goal. Okay, so see you guys when I have all the energy crystals. Sorry, I didn't mean to take that long. Oh wow, look at this. He actually has a holy spell. I didn't think he had it, because the book didn't say he had it. Alright, well, in lieu of actually doing this, I'm actually going to, you know, get a hundred holy, so see you guys <laughs> a bit longer. Okay, guys, I'm back. That was a little more annoying than I thought, but <clears throat> Alu, I did get uh, 100 Hollies for Quizzes and Squall. Unfortunately, Zell actually didn't get to get 100 because he kept dying because he was sucking. But it's okay because I have 41 Holy Stones I can give to him. Give him all the Holy Stones. Yeah. Alright. Now, is Holy actually any good for Junction? I don't know. I'll figure that out later. I'm not really worried about it all that much right now. All I know is that I got Encounter None and I have Med Level Up and I'm happy because, yeah. I got some good level grinding. I don't even remember what level I was before, but now I'm level like 64, which is awesome because that's an awesome number. But anyways, next up, next on our list is Star Fragments, and I actually don't remember where I get Star Fragments from. I believe Iron Giants, although I'm not exactly sure where to find those, so actually I'm going to uh, pretty much just like um, do a little research and then I'll find out where we get some Star Fragments, okay? See you then. Okay, now you're probably wondering what I'm doing back outside. Well, there's actually, um, the star fragments are actually from Iron Giants, which are actually from that Tears Point place. Now, there is a couple things you can do here, but I'm going to land here really quick, because I don't, I don't want to make sure that I actually go into Lutrini Pintar, because once you go there, there's pretty much no turning back. Alright, I actually haven't counted none on, and we actually haven't gone here yet, so that's actually kind of a nice little touch. Um, this has been mentioned a lot in the, uh, storyline, as, like, the place that, you know, the monsters come from. Well, there's actually, um an important item we need to collect here and it actually is a GF but we can't get it until later well kinda we can kinda get it now but not really but there's actually a high occurrence of iron giants here if I remember correctly um, you can also encounter Toramas and I think that's pretty much it when it comes to here but if you go all the way to the middle <sighs> stupid loading times anyways um, if you go all the way to the middle <clears throat> there's actually an item there you see it it is called the Solomon Ring, what is this? This is probably a stupid draw point. Yeah. Now, um, it's very much like the, um, magical, um, what it's called, the magical ring, or the magical lamp, but, um, you can't summon it yet, <clears throat> because you need, okay, I don't know how you're supposed to know this, but you need six Mount Boro Tentacles, six Remedy Pluses, and six Steel Pipes, six, six, six. <laughs> That's funny. That's kind of creepy, actually. Okay, so we have the six Mount Boro Tentacles. That was what we needed it for. Um, we also need six um, steel pipes, which are from those Wendigo things. I've shown them off. I've fought them on screen before, I think, at least. And um, six Remedy Pluses. And I'm probably thinking, how the hell are we supposed to get Remedy Pluses? Well, the reason I want to med level up from Alexander is because it's an ability where you can actually level up your uh, medicine. For example, three potions will find a one potion plus. Now, Remedies, it's 10 and a 1 Remedy Plus, so you need 60 Remedies, so I'll be buying those either off-screen or something. It'll cost me a lot of money, but I'm willing to spend it and get those uh, Steel Pipes. So, I'll see you guys back to where we have Iron Giants so we can actually get those uh, Star Fragments. Actually, you know what, I'll because you need four of them for this next part, so I'll actually, actually cut to where I have them, okay? Okay, we have that done. And uh, we have Star Fragments, and we also have Regan Rings, those Toramas you can mug from them. 
So what's left in our list? There's Force Armlet, which I'm not sure exactly how to get, but um, let's see. Regardless, we need to go to the Timber-esque region, so let's go there. So we need to get Steel Pipes, and we also need to get um, uh, Dragon Skins for our Zell's Ultimate Weapon. And for the future reference, I have Dragon Fangs, and I also have Curse Spikes. I'm not sure exactly how I did it, but yeah. Okay. I am back, and actually, it's I had dragon skin or dragon fangs, and I actually have a fury fragment. I'm not sure how I got it exactly, but you can get them from any dragon. You can get from blue dragons, which you can find in either the island closest to hell or the um, what is it? Island closest to hell or the timber region, or and dragon fangs you can get from. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. You can also, you can get them from drops from Blue Dragon. See, so those are that's one item you can get from. Trims you can get from one of many, so that's good. Um, I must have done that. I, I think I actually got a fear fragment from a Blue Dragon in the Timber region, so that's probably what I did. But anyways, let's go to Timber. I'm gonna do it manually because I want to run into tears points, because it'll take me right there if I do. <laughs> All right. So what's our next destination? Next destination is for sure Timber, which is like over here, right? Yeah. Actually, we're almost done with this quest, which is actually kind of awesome. I think Force Armlets are also in Timber Region from Ochu's, I'm pretty sure. I'm not entirely positive, but I want to say that's where you get them from. Alright, so once we are almost there. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll steal those uh, steel pipes off screen. And if I don't feel like I've shown you Wendigos, I will. They're pretty common in this area, really, like... Wendigos and Ochus are like the only thing you encounter here, so really, I mean, if it's that big a deal, I'll show it to you, so. Okay. Yeah, man, um, Regan Rings are actually a really good item to have because, uh, let's see, they were finding 20 full lives. Not just life, full life. And as you know, full life heals you to full when you die. And it's the second best HP uh, HP, uh, like, equip. So here we are at the, uh, this is actually closer to Dalit. But, um, this is the best place to encounter Anacondors, I believe, at least. So once you encounter here, you actually don't, you actually don't mug them for me. You actually just kill them and get the, uh, drop. So, like, that's what you want to do with these guys. If I encounter some, no, I encountered someone, some Fungar. So I'll see you guys when I encounter some Anacondors, okay? Oh, cool, we actually have Wendigos and Anacondors. Nice. Okay, so in this battle, you actually want a mug from the Wendigo to get the steel pipes. I believe Wendigos give you steel pipes. I'm pretty positive of this. Actually, I think they mugs, you mug steel orbs from them. I could be wrong. Um, no, they mug steel pipes. Yeah, see, good. Nice. Got that. So let's actually kill these enemies without actually using Quistus. So we could probably we could totally do that. Let's do some GFs and some GF action and awesome. Oh my god. These are Wendigos, they're big green monkeys and they basically just throw you around everywhere. It's actually kinda of funny how they put you in a ball. I actually like that a lot. I mean they're not they're pretty harmless, honestly. They really aren't that bad. Okay. Under storm. Nah, I'm not gonna do this. Okay. So once we kill these guys, our next goal is. Oh, I learned something. Actually, um, force armlets are an extremely rare drop. Not extremely. Well, actually, yeah. From Ochus and Forbidden's, but you can actually mug one from Eddie in the second fight. So, make sure you do that, because it's very, very important that you do. Otherwise, you'll be having a very tough time getting Winoa's ultimate weapon. So, just a heads up, I'll let you know that. Kill this guy. Actually, I'll kill the Wendigo with, uh, Quistus. That's where I got my steel pipes. Okay. So, actually, I'm actually kind of wrapping up this episode. I mean, I'm already at an hour and six minutes while recording. I'm not sure how long it's going to be... I apologize if it's going to be long, but I mean, come on, getting all the awesome weapons is going to be a 15 minute episode. So, I mean, really, let's be realistic here. Because I killed both of them. Nice. Okay. So, hopefully, we'll get to some dragon skins. I think we need two. So, if I can get more than two, it'd be awesome. 
Wizard Stone, Dragon Skins, nice. First try. This is turning out to be amazing, amazing luck wise. It's awesome. I'm actually enjoying it quite a lot. Okay, so what else do we need? We need an Adamant. We need another Adamant toys, or an Adamantine, whatever. And um, you can get them from my or refining the Minotaur card, but I'm actually not gonna do that because I don't feel I want to keep all the rare cards until the end of the game. So um, we're actually going to go over here, and you can actually find them only on beaches by Dalits and by uh, and Ultimate's Castle. So there's a is there a beach by Dalit? I think there is. That's where they appear at. And they're actually kind of cool enemies looking, in my opinion. Is this Hasbury Beach? Now, Adamantines have been in Final Fantasy for a long time. They've actually been pretty much in every one. They're big turtle enemies. I like turtles. So, also, um... Actually, one of the only encounters you don't get that aren't fishes. Okay, here are the Adamantoids as I was talking about. Luckily, they have two of them. Now, you don't mug from them, you actually want to kill them, because their draw their mug is a Whisper, which I believe is something that is Quistus' Limit Break, so actually I'm going to mug from one of them and kill the other. Um, now, the thing to worry about these guys is all oh, three Oral Calcons. Um, that's their common drop. I'm not sure what their, um, their later drop is a Whisper. So I'm actually grinding to get one of those, but um, these things have 210... Um, Vitality from level one, and it doesn't get any better or worse. So you actually want to use a um, meltdown on all of these guys, just so you can wail on them, because they have a lot of HP as well. And eh, like, probably around this level, probably around 10,000, I'd imagine, something like that. But you make sure you want to uh, melt on them because they'll be very, very, very hard to defeat, because they also have high spirit. So you know, it's one of those things. Unless you do, unless you do this, you're in for a very long battle. So. Yeah, see, otherwise I would have done jack squat, so. So I'm gonna make sure, just to be safe, I can't remember which one I attacked to get the, uh, mug from, so. Those ones are actually very ugly looking, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, 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 hey! No! It's basically you should tornado on us, but it was not elemental, so you didn't get the freaking damage on me. Oh, they do cast Shell and Protect on each other, even though I'm not using any kind of magic, so it's not a big deal. That is a very small hitbox, sir. I'm just letting you know that. <laughs> Die. Or not, whatever. Fine, then I don't want to kill you anyways. Jeez, they have a lot of HP. What do they have? Bazaga, Shell, Protect, and Reflect. I'm guessing that's the same one. Yep. Okay, so... That's not bad, actually. They're level 30, obviously, so they're... I mean, I'm not going to really use their buffs anyway, so... I don't really need it, because, you know, screw buffs. Of course I missed. Die. Thank you. I'm almost positive this is the one I actually attacked for the mug, so I'm just going to attack it. So it's like if I freaking lost it. These aren't, these aren't rare to encounter, but they are uncommon, for sure. Okay, so that's the one I did do. Now, like I said, Darkness breaks this game in more ways than one. Look at that. I've attacked him three times and I haven't hit him once. This is ridiculous. There we go. I got one. Nice. I want to draw protect. Aw. Okay. Alright. They give a decent amount of experience. And we get an event time, which is one of my goal. Alright, so we have... Because well, we, we got one from the BGM fight. So we needed another one because two of the weapons require it. And I actually think that's it when it comes to stuff needed. I'm actually going to go back to Balan because that's the, that's I like that town. That's my favorite town to go to when it comes to... uh, Because it's so nice. Okay, so let's see if we have everything for we need because I'm pretty sure we do. If we don't, I'm going to go out again and get some stuff. But um, first off, before we go in there, just to make sure we actually have to refine our uh, some of our uh, energy crystals. So let's do that. Where are they? Let's find two of them. Because so we need 12 pulse ammo for a squall. I mean, why can't they make it 10 or 20? I mean, come on. Don't tease us with, you know, we only have to get one. Because this is probably... Because you can get all, you can get all of the ultimate weapons on f the first disc. But, well, all but one. You can't get you can't get moonstones other than mugging from El, El Noyles. And I think there's something else you can do, but it's on disc 3. But the, only, the hardest one, I would say, is probably uh, Squalls, because 
um, the 12 Pulse Ammo because you have to win 20 El Noyo cards from like uh, from people, and it's really annoying. All oh, right, there's Lionheart. Yes, I will do it. Energies. We have just enough stuff for that. Yes, I'll do it. Exeter. Yes, I will do it. Save the queen. Yes, I will do it. Shooting star. Okay, so you need windmills, which I believe are from those uh, death claw enemies. And you can also refine the Cerberus card for a hundred of them. And, oh, what do we need for strange vision? Elementine, I have one. I had... Did I use it? Well, shit. I'm gonna go get another Elementine, alright? I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I am back, guys. Sorry, that took a necessarily long amount of time, but I got the Adamantine, and I also got, uh, off screen, I fought a behemoth. Um, it was before anything happened, like before I went to fight all this stuff, and I actually got a whisper from the, um, from the Adamantoys that the mug, and I actually learned why when and the barrier teaches her Mighty Guard. Now, I believe there's only like two more limit breaks for quests to learn. Let me check. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's three more. I know one of them is Shockwave, I think. No, Shockwave, Pulsar. There's something to do with that, and then another one. Um, I will be getting those for sure. Um, but not yet. Okay, so let's go get our last one. Yeah. All right. Uh, say Strange Vision. Now the cool thing about selfies is actually is um when you get it her hit percentage goes up to 255 like Squalls is so um that's kind of nice you don't have to worry about hit percentage she's always gonna hit regardless of how you know and that's it guys that's every single ultimate weapon and for Squall that actually means his ultimate limit break has been unlocked as well and I'll be showing that off later and now while we're here we might as well buy those remedies if I think they sell remedies here if they don't that's stupid I'll be I'm gonna be getting them regardless. You need to buy anything before you go with Karis Ray Gifts? Too shh. I just want 60 remedies. K, thanks. Alright, so 60. Actually, 58. Okay. So I have 60 remedies. Let's go use Med Level Up. And I think you're supposed to know um, about the whole 666 thing from an occult fan. I haven't really gone over the, what those do yet, but pretty much occult fans just kind of give you hints about side quests. So let's get 60. Alright, so we have our six steel pipes, which I'll show off. Range. Uh, steel pipes have seven. Uh, six Malboro tentacles, where are they at? Uh, Malboro tentacles, we have eight of them. And our six remedy pluses, which I believe are on the first page. Yep, right there. So once you have all those, you just go up to your Solomon ring and press A. It says, You called upon me? I am. No battle or anything, and just kind of gives you Doom Train. Which, in my opinion, is one of the more useful summons because basically it's like a bad breath, but all like in a summon, and it hurts him too, which is nice. So I shall become your ally, and we get it. All right, nice. Okay, so that's pretty much all I want to do in this episode because I'm out of time. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Sorry this video is so long. If it is, I think it's going to be about 40 minutes. I'm imagining so. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next episode for the start of the very the side quest of this game. All right. See you guys next time.